the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Then the whole assembly arose and led Jesus to Pilate, and they said, this man is subverting our nation. He opposes payment of taxes to Caesar and claims to be the Messiah, a king. So Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? You have said so, Jesus replied. Then Pilate announced to the chief priest and to the crowd, I find no basis for a charge against this man. But they insisted. He stirs up the people all over Judea with his teachings. He started in Galilee and has come all the way here. On hearing this, Pilate asked if the man was a Galilean. When he learned that Jesus was under Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him off to Herod, who was also in Jerusalem at the time. When Herod saw Jesus, he was greatly pleased because for a long time he'd been wanting to see him. From what he heard, he hoped to see him perform a sign of some sort. He pried him with many questions, but Jesus gave him no answers. The chief priests and the teachers of the law stood there vehemently accusing Jesus. Then Herod and his soldiers ridiculed and mocked him. They dressed him in an elegant robe and sent him back to Pilate. That day, Herod and Pilate became friends. Before this, they were enemies. Then Pilate called together the chief priests, the rulers, and the people and said to them, you brought me this man as one who is subverting our nation. I have examined him in your presence and have found no basis for the charges against him. Neither has Herod who has sent him back to us. As you can see, this man has done nothing to deserve death. Therefore, I will have him punished and then release him. But the crowd shouted, away with this man, release Barabbas to us. Barabbas had been in prison for insurrection in the city and for murder. Wanting to release Jesus, Pilate appealed to them again but they kept shouting crucify him crucify him for a third time Pilate addressed them why what crime has he committed but they all shouted the louder crucify him crucify him so Pilate decided to give in to the demands. He released the man who had been in prison for insurrection and murder, the one they asked for, and surrendered Jesus to their will. As the soldiers came up, they took Jesus away, and they seized a man called Simon the Cyrene, and they forced him to carry the cross. A large crowd followed Jesus, including women who mourned and wailed for him. Then Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. For the time is coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if men do these things while the tree is green, what will happen when it is dry? Two criminals were led out with him. Then they came to the place called the Skull. And they crucified him, along with the other criminals, one on his right and the other on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And they divided his clothes amongst them by casting lots. The people stood watching, and the rulers even sneered at him. They said, he saved others. Let him save himself if he is God's Messiah, the chosen one.
The soldiers also came up and mocked him. They offered him wine vinegar to drink and said, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. A written sign had been placed above him which read, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence? We are punished justly, for we are giving what our crimes deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, truly I say, this very day you will be with me in paradise. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, for the sun stopped shining, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last.